I'm Manu Kakobian. Thank you for tuning in and thank you to our partners, personal injury attorney Nelson Gaborkin. Hi, everyone. I am joined by UFC number three ranked flyweight contender Amir Albazi, who returns after a 17 month layoff Saturday to face former champion Brandon Moreno in a main event fight on ESPN. Amir, it's been a long road getting here, having to overcome heart surgery and neck surgery and rigorous rehab, but you're one big win away from a potential title shot. How are you feeling? I feel good. I'm happy to be back in a main event against a tough opponent. I'm looking to put on a good performance, get like a fight of the night type of moment. So I'm excited. The Let's uh, talk about the, the injuries, though, because you are one punch away from being paralyzed. Can you just please take us through the ordeal of having to overcome the heart surgery and neck surgery to get to this fight? Yeah, it's been a long road. It's been almost like 16 months layoff where I have to had to deal with two surgeries back to back. You know, coming out from one surgery, thinking you're good and like keep training and then your neck start acting up where the doctors tell, tell you like, you better retire soon because like this is not something you can continue. But this is what I do. I keep pushing. I keep being stubborn. And that's what champions do. So I'm looking just here to finish finish business and become a champion against all odds. Did at any point it, it come to you that your career might be at risk uh, going through all that? Yeah, of course. It's always a risk with what we do. But I've been doing this my whole life. Like This is what I've been dreaming about since I was 14 years old. So I won't I won't give up that easy on it. Let's talk about the journey. You have a rags to riches journey, you know, living in Iraq under Saddam Hussein's reign, and then in Syria and Sweden as a refugee. You said you were a teen gang member robbing people, and then you found MMA and you started training. You went all the way to London to graduate college. How has your tough upbringing? made you the man and fighter you are today man i i hope this saturday night people are gonna see people don't know my story and people don't know where i'm from a lot of people talk about rough upbringings uh, from this from that i've been living it since i was a kid i've been living in war since i was a kid i grew up in war in, like we were being prosecuted leaving the country going as a refugee to syria leaving again to Sweden, dealing with all types of shit, you know, just overcoming obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And that's why when I get a heart surgery or I get a neck surgery, this is what I'm telling you. I won't give up. It was a long road to get here. So I'm just excited, man. I'm just like, I get emotional just thinking about it. I'm going to make my dream happen. Having overcome all that you have, do you kind of have this Terminator mindset that nothing can stop you, nothing uh, gives you any problems? Yeah, and I, I can prove it to anyone. And Anyone who see me in the training room can vouch for it. I train harder than anyone else, than anyone else. And every coach I trained on, they can vouch for this. Like, exactly like you say, it's a laser-focused mindset. I'm focusing on getting better every day. Every fight you're going to see me, I'm going to get better. And when I go into the fight, I'm going to bring all of that to the table. Every single one. I have never been finished in my career for a reason. Let's talk about the fight. Brandon Moreno, he's no slouch. He's fought everyone under the sun. Former champion. Why do you think you bring more to the table than Brandon? Because I'm way hungrier, especially now. I think I have better grappling, better wrestling, and you guys are going to see my striking on Saturday night. I'm the new breed. I'm the one that keeps evolving. I'm the one I'm the one that people are going to keep doubting and going to keep winning. That Like I always done my whole life. No one thought that a kid from the streets of Baghdad is going to make it to the UFC. My friends laughed at me when I told them I'm going to get to the UFC when I was 13 years old. Everyone been doubting me all this way, and I keep proving them wrong. And I'm going to prove people wrong once again on Saturday night. 
I was looking at the odds. Even the odds makers are doubting you. They have Brandon Moreno as the favorite in this fight. To be honest, even better. Even better. That's what I'm thinking. I've been the underdog my whole life. This is not something new to me. It's not like it's going to affect me. I just smile at it like I do now, you know? Okay, it's even better. I have uh, My whole life has been an underdog story, so I don't even bet. So they want to like have him as a favorite. Good for people that are going to bet on me. They're going to make more money. Absolutely. And you've trained against Brandon Moreno before. Is there a degree of familiar, familiarity that's going to give you the edge in this fight? Yeah, of course. I watched a lot of tape. I had coaches working against him, same coaches that trained Figueredo for his fight against him. So it's a lot of stuff that we already know. Uh, I trained with Henry Cejudo. They have a lot of insights into Brandon Moreno's training and and uh, skills. But I don't take, I don't try to do it that way. I focus on me. I focus on me. What can Amir Albazi do to Brandon Moreno? And I get that better every day. So that's what I'm going to do. We've all seen Brandon Moreno uh, under the bright lights. Uh, he's lost his last two fights against the top two in the division. I'm curious, do you think he's still in the prime of his career or do you think he's damaged goods at this point? No, I think he's still good. Like, uh, but I think he's also want to come back and show people what he can do. You know, he, he didn't have a good performance against Troival. And I say that with, uh, with utmost respect. I don't think I had a good performance against Kai Kara France. So we're both going to come back. We're going to be hungry to show people that, you know, that we, we are in the best in this division. You know, uh, throughout uh, your entire promotion of this fight and our conversation right now, it's giving me a little bit of Ilya Tapore energy when he was first coming up uh, throughout the UFC ranks. Not a lot of people knew about him from overseas. And then he's just knocking guys out, stopping them. And now, as we see, he's the champion and the one calling the shots. Do you see that you could follow the same path like he has as well, too? Man, I think I'm destined to become a champion, really. I, I really feel it deep inside of me. And I felt that since I was 14 years old. You know, like keep training, keep improving, keep winning. That's why I do what I do. I always felt it deep inside of me. So if it's going to happen, it's written. It's going to happen no matter what. No matter what people say, no matter what people do. I don't care about losses, setbacks, hur hurdles, obstacles. I'm going to get there, and I know I'm going to get there. And if anyone knows, it's Brandon Moreno. He got out of the UFC, got back in, became a champion. If he can do it, I can do it. Absolutely. And what are the conversations that you've been having with uh, your team, with the UFC? Are you going to challenge for the title right after this if you beat Moreno? Since I've been away for such a long time, I'm focusing on me, Brandon Moreno, and this fight coming up on Saturday. That's all in my mind. Then after this fight, we can go in and negotiate. I'm going to speak to my team and see what's next on the table. So before I let you go, I need the official prediction. You're 5-0 and in the UFC. Nine of those wins of your career wins have come by submission. Five via KO. Nine first-round finishes. How does this fight end against Brandon Moreno on Saturday night? I just know it's going to be a finish. It's hard to predict. Depends, of course, how Morena comes out, but I promise a finish, either by knockout or submission, are going to come to finish this fight.